Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. So I wanted to redo the pantry. It has been a mess. There's so much stuff that has expired that needs to be taken care of. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. Look at it, a mess. Stay tuned to the end to see the end result. We're gonna start by what I call the pre-sweep, where we sweep before we get started. I'm a little repulsive. I do the same thing multiple times, but I just wanna make sure it's really clean. So we're gonna do the pre-sweep and we're- I was dumbfounded. I was just devastated because I can't believe I let it get this bad. But not to worry, we're gonna get it fixed and get it together. Cause baby, if you ain't clean your pantry, I advise you do today. Let's go, let's go. Let's get started by removing everything from the pantry. Here I just started throwing out some of the expired items and some items that were no longer in use. Because I'm just putting stuff everywhere, everywhere, but it's okay. Because we're gonna clean it, we're gonna get it together. Don't fret, don't get upset, because we got this one step at a time. There's just more and more clutter. Whatever's not in use, really highway? Whatever's not in use is getting tossed. I have no use for it, let's get rid of it.
Not me struggling to find the expiration date, y'all. But look how old some of this stuff is. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you. Like, how did it slip that it's been in there for that long? Just take a look. Since I'm moving, I decided to just go ahead and get rid of those little cabinet liners. I'm just gonna buy new ones once I move. And they were really disgusting, so I really didn't find a purpose in cleaning them. So why not just toss them? We'll start fresh. Here we go with the nitty gritty. It's time to start cleaning. I got my Clorox wipes and got to work. Y'all need to see how gross this is. So gross. Now the previous tenants did leave the shelves in disarray, which is why I had the liners, because I begged the property to give us new shelves and they're like, eh, no. Anywho, that was everything that was in the cabinets. I haven't cleaned out the pantry in so long. So embarrassing, but we're getting it done. It's time for the second sweep. Look at all that, gross. Now let's start organizing it. those people who can't have two of the same thing that are open at the same time and if it can be put into one box that's what we're gonna do so that's what I'm doing here we're reorganizing and we're gonna go ahead and clean out these little glass dishes and reutilize them because maybe repurpose and reuse I went ahead and washed them with soap and water, then went over them with Windex so they can be really nice and shiny. Now reorganizing these, my goal wasn't to make it like really presentable and cute. It's just to get rid of the clutter, to be honest. Um, like I said, I'll be moving, so I don't really have much of an interest to make this the best looking presentable display for snacks and things like that. And half of these snacks are, are not even mine. So I just put them in a way that you can see them, you can grab it and you can go
Now I did think it was a little cute idea to put the tea bags in the mason jars. I don't know, just so I could see them and it seemed cute. multiple of the same things open it, it drives me crazy just put it all in one bag i would love to see in the comments how you guys organize do you use storage bins do you use bins at all do you care do you like an alphabetical order by size, color, shape, whatever? Let me know how you guys organize your pantry and what are your go-tos? And where do you shop for your pantry organization? I know, it's because I'm interested and I kind of have an idea of how I want to decorate when I move, but it's still up in the air. So give me some ideas, guys. I'd love to hear it. just so nice to get rid of all that clutter all them extra boxes gives everything a nice fresh appeal It just felt so good to get all of this clean and reorganized, especially we're approaching springtime. Spring cleaning is my absolute favorite. How she get rid of all the dead weight, all of the clutter, all of the mess that you've been storing and holding on to since the winter. Now it's time to start putting things back. I was kind of just like going off the size of things when I was putting everything back on the shelves. Just really accessible, easy to see, easy to find, easy to grab. placement but it makes sense I guess and there wasn't much of there wasn't a lot of things that really went together so I put things in the most sensible order does that make sense <laughs> things and like 
jar things on my shelf, the snacks. So pretty much again, a flow of how everything should be, I guess. <laughs> syrup sticky stuff deserve to go at the bottom i feel like it causes the most mess as you can see with the previous sinus did let's put oil everywhere so that's what that is a mess um the flow is so much better ah And as you guys could see, there were random things everywhere. Like the coffee is supposed to go above that cabinet or in this jar here, which is where I'm putting it. But of course, it was placed in the wrong place. So we're getting that fixed. Oh, just so much better. Ta-da! The final look of the pantry. Doesn't that look so much better? So clean. So organized, so together. And here are some things I'm just starting to pack for the move that I don't use at this time and they could just go in a box until then. so much for watching this spring cleaning series i hope you stuck around to the end to see the final look of the pantry and i'll see you next week in next week's video have a great week guys stay motivated and stay clean